look, there's the fillet steak. It's not that thick. And I'm just going to cut a hole that I'm going to stuff my oyster into. Now, check for the best position for this steak to go into. Now, this is where I'm going to put it, right here. Cut a little bit that way. I try and keep this hole as small as possible so the oyster doesn't come spilling back out. Now, let's just take this oyster out of the shell. Persuade this oyster to go into the hole that we've made. And literally, it is stuffing an oyster into a steak. And you can see it literally just, if I push my finger in now, and that hole will now seal up. I'm going to cook this fillet steak quite quickly in quite a bit of olive oil. So just, just, just have a look at this. Quite a lot of seasoning on this early. And what this tends to do is help to seal in the flavour of this steak. Now, you can feel that oil is getting hot already. I'm just going to drop this straight in. You instantly seal the flavour in. And I'm going to cook it like that, and I'm going to turn it over, cook it like that some more, and then off. So the oil's got to be hot. It's vitally important that oil remains hot. Now, while that's happening, I, I want to serve that with some lovely potatoes that I found in the market here, which I've, I've cooked off. They just peel the skins off these, but these potatoes, I'm going to finish off in this fillet steak pan once that's done. So this is a, pretty much a one pan wonder dish um, because I want the flavour of this dish to, to go through the potatoes. And I'm going to do the Brussels sprouts, which I've just cut down and, and cooked off very lightly in some water. I want to cook them with the potatoes. Now, can you see the colour of this fillet steak? Look at that. Beautiful. I, I love putting a little bit of pepper now on that. The heat from this steak should be cooking halfway through, halfway through, and meeting in the middle with that oyster. And the oyster's not really cooking, it's just warming up and going a bit creamy. So as you cut through that fillet steak, this sort of creamy oyster sauce comes pouring out of it. I want to put my potatoes in now and cook my potatoes in the oil that my steak's cooking in. Still frying it. Look at this. See the bottom there? Fabulous. The Brussels sprouts, now that I've cooked them and sort of cut them up a little bit, I'll put them into this pan with a touch of soy sauce and a touch of this mustard. You cook the steak as, as if you're just cooking a, a, a steak normally. It's checking if um, it's firm or soft. This steak is, is, is more or less medium rare now, so I'm actually going to take that off. I don't want to cook it anymore, otherwise the oyster will start cooking. It's been cooking for about eight to ten minutes. So if I just feel it there, you can see that that's enough. I'm going to pull that off. Just strain a little bit off and just put it onto a little bit of kitchen paper along with these potatoes. I want to tip these Brussels sprouts in. Now these Brussels sprouts I've literally just brought to the boil, cut in half, and caramelise these off slightly. And I'm going to add a touch of mustard. Just sprinkle it over the top. You see the caramelisation on these Brussels sprouts? Perfect. A little bit of sauce. Now this is soy sauce. A touch, touch, touch of butter. This is going to add seasoning to the dish as well. Add a little bit of richness. Let's start to put our dish together. I'm going to put this, potato, this steak on just like that. And these Brussels sprouts, I'm going to put over the top. You see these Brussels sprouts going on, a touch of soy sauce, a little bit of butter. And that is ready to serve. <laughs>